tuna tumepata kwamba tuko na types of poisoning type ya kwanza inaitwa ingested poisoning ingested poisoning includes ile poisoning ya pombe poisoning ya organophosphates kerosene na hizi common drugs for for example kama aspirin so pia tunapata kuna another type of poisoning inaitwa inhaled poisoning yenye inaweza include poisoning ya carbon monoxide ethanol na organophosphates so kwa identify poisoning inahitaji mtu achukue history yenye iko na kila kitu yenye inahusiana na hiyo poisoning yani detailed history so una examine the drugs yenye iko available at home hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza na ukinote drugs drug containers zenye ziko nearby ama drug bottles ziko nearby also unamuliza mama ama mtu hii ku record ile place yenye ingestion ilifanyika ama inhalation ilifanyika ikiwezekana kama hujapata kama hujapata idea kuhusu ile poison yenye mtu hii anaweza kuwa ame, ametumia also unanalyze ile vomitas ya mtu hii na mkojo So ini is in effects of poisoning kwa pids. Ya kwanza ni vomiting, vomiting na emetesis. Ime, Emetesis ni damu damu inavana vomiting iko na damu. Then atakuwa na convulsion ama involuntary movement. Pia atakuwa na oculoguric spasms. Hiyo ni, ni macho hallucinations pia inaweza kuwa na agitations mtoto anaweza hallucinate ni kama vitu zote aziko pia macho pupils inaweza kuwa dilated ama constricted so hapo ndio itatu guide tujue ni, ni type gani ya poisoning tutajua kuna type zenye pupils ziko dilated na kuna type ya poisoning zenye pupils ziko constricted pia renal failure inaweza kuwa respiratory failure inaweza kuwa respiratory system inaweza collapse kumbuka pia cardiac failure inaweza kuwa hypoglycemia yani sukari zinashuka kabisa kwa mwili metabolic acidosis pia inaweza fanyika stupa ama coma mtu yanaweza na into stupa ama coma so basically vinye tuna manage ya kwanza ni kutumia the first choice okay in a dependent method but gastric lavage is the method of choice so the blood ina inachukuliwa na testiwa for poisonous substances taken by the child if known an an intravenous infusion using daron solution or 50% dextrose inaweza pano kwa mtu hii ku correct your hypoglycemia sukari iende irudi kawaida pia mtu huyu anaweza pewa oxygen therapy kama iko necessary of which kuna guidelines the child should be should be also be given oral alkaline fluids ya ku neutralize the acid na vice versa then catheterization urinary catheterization ikiwa catheter ndio wa monitor urine, yeah, urine output na pia wajue kama kuna any impending renal failure ndio wa correct mapema pia watangalia mtu hii general condition yenye na include level of consciousness inspection ya ya mdomo na lips for any burns in case of kama hiyo poisoning ilikuwa corrosive so kwa next video yetu tutafanya resuscitation na tuta tutaangalia kutumia protocol 
vinye tutafanya resuscitation kwa mtu hii akisha kwa poisoned so tutafanya neonatal na child so asante kwa contributors